Hello everyone, today we are talking about liquify. I'm going to show you my method with my settings that I use to liquify in Photoshop and in particularly for portrait photography on people. And the setting I use can of course be used on other things like product and architecture but today we are going to focus on people because that's something that people uh, don't always understand and do in a very wrong way which can look very weird very quickly <laughs> let's jump into photoshop if you want to practice uh, liquify on this image then you can click the link in the description where i will be providing the raw image so we are back today in Photoshop for a tutorial on uh, liquify. So we did previously a uh, work on the hair on this image already. This is an image from signatureedit.com. Uh, it's a website where you can download raw images for retouching uh, practice. So um, I'm going to walk you uh, through this image quickly and know that if you are interested in learning portrait retouching and skin retouching, then you can uh, register in the waitlist to get an early bird uh, discount to my upcoming masterclass on skin retouching. So the link is in the description. So here is the raw image, the developed image uh, did in Camera Raw. HDR, also the work on the lighting, a bit of skin retouching, the hair that we did previously together in um, a previous um, tutorial, so you can check it out if you are interested, and a bit of color grading. Today we are going to finish this image with a bit of liquify, something very subtle, so you can see that uh, liquify doesn't have to uh, change the whole body of the whole face of someone. It can also uh, give a more relaxed look, and I'm going to show you that um, today. So I want to flatten this image we see which is command option shift e and then to uh, keep it on a non-descriptive uh, way of editing i want to convert it on smart object okay then i go to filter and liquify here okay so here i am on liquify and i'm going to use this first tool here and I want a pressure of 5% um, to start and a density of 50%. What I want to do is to change a bit of uh, the posture here. I think uh, the back is not is bending a little bit too much, maybe uh, shorten the jaw a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's it. And then I want to make the wall posture a bit more uh, posture a bit more relaxed because uh, when you are shooting models sometimes they are a bit stressed the shoulders are a bit um, inward so we are going to fix that so what I do is that I take a size a bit um, smaller and I'm going to brush this posture here I don't want to change um, her posture so I'm just brushing a little bit but still I uh, want to keep that curve in the back okay so I think I did it a little bit too much so I'm going to uh, pick the restriction the rest <laughs> the reconstruct tool and then you brush and it's going back to what you did okay so now I'm going to pick the forward warp tool and do it again so you don't want to change the wall uh, structure of the bones we want to keep as a normal girl if you want to do something a bit weird a bit, a bit of a science fiction um, look then you can definitely do something weird with um, liquify but it's not what we want here okay so it's what we did it might be a little bit too much for my test so yeah just a bit and then I want to shorten the jaw a little bit and the chin okay just a bit So you can see before and after. So 
Okay. And now it's a technique. So to make a model more relaxed, you're gonna choose a pressure of 1%. What we're gonna do is to uh, put the shoulders a bit down and to open the posture. So yeah, you open it this way. And take the shoulders down a little bit. And you're gonna see, so for now you can't see anything, but at the end you're gonna see that she looks a bit more relaxed. Okay. See, before and after. So I am happy with the result, I click OK. And because I um, convert to a smart object, I can come back to the liquify anytime. So all the settings will be already uh, will be still uh, there and I can make any change I want. Okay, so this is before and after, before and after. And that's it. Then I would sharpen the image and export it. If you like this video, please push the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any next videos. And I see you in the next one.